Бой начинается. Welcome guys, Brandon here from Terminated Gaming. Once again, we're back on World of Warships. Once again, with another replay that happened before 10.0, and once again in the Massachusetts in ranked. Man, it must be getting really repetitive for you, but once again, you can thank Caliber. Go check out his YouTube channel. I'll link it down below for this video. Uh, it's the second time I'm shouting him out. He really did help out with uh, telling me that I could go back and watch these replays again, because there were several good games in rank that I wanted to show you, as you can check in the playlist up above. So this is Hotspot Domination in the ranked game mode, and once again, as sounds like a broken uh, broken record, there's a CV. This time we have the Graf Zeppelin. Uh, it's been a mainstay in all three of those videos. And there's a Percival on the enemy team. Of course, I'm always in the Massachusetts, as I thought it was the best tier 8 battleship for ranked. Don't. Don't, uh, don't quote me, but I, I, that's what I thought. So... Massachusetts, I've went over its strengths in the last couple videos, so I won't beat that that again. Uh, I'm going to push up to C here on Hotspot. Uh, I really do like this map for ranked. It's one of my favorites because of C. There's a enemy North Carolina, enemy Bismarck, enemy Massachusetts, enemy Hipper, uh, the whatever that one you want to call it, and the Z23. Our team has a Benson and a Malfi, a Baltimore. Uh, the Amagi, me in a Massachusetts, and another Massachusetts. So, the entire enemy team has made a turn, besides the Hipper in that Massachusetts, towards A. And we have, all of our team is going to commit to C here. So with that, I'm going to decide to shoot at the cruiser here, as I feel like I can do the most against him. And then I put my secondaries on the Z23. Because I feel like they could do the most to him. I missed the Hipper on the opening salvo there. Uh, that's one of those times it was like, ooh, I wish I could have that bat. Uh, the Z23 is going to stop behind that island. But my secondaries, of course, the Americans can shoot over that. So he decides to push forward. So he he's lost his engine to my secondary. So I just shoot at him now. Um, pretty decent dispersion out of the main guns there, but only two hits. The secondaries are going to be what does the most to him. He's going to smoke up here. I'm going to quickly switch back my secondaries over to the Hipper here. And my last secondary hit gets the Z23. Uh, close quarter and first blood there. So now it's this Hipper. Uh, I'm going to shoot at this Hipper's side here. But just remember, American 16-inch guns can overmatch uh, the Hipper's bow. So I should have been shooting as bow here. But I'm not afraid of his torpedoes because those are shorter range torpedoes. I'm more afraid of this Percival going after me. My secondary set of fire here, he's getting lit up. I mean, the whole team is right here. And the Amagi ends up getting him. So quickly, 18,999 damage and one kill so already off to a decent start we've killed two enemy ships already i believe the enemy hipper says gg in cap or gg in chat here no it's actually the massachusetts that's up there he's the one that says it uh because two of his teammates are already dead i shoot at the north carolina because i wanted to get two pens nothing special but i am now the focus of four enemy ships here which is not a cool thing. Yes, I am running priority target, but this is, you gotta remember this is the old system, not the new system. Uh, so, yeah. This is uh, a lot about trying to figure out how to avoid as much damage as possible because you're going to be permanently spotted. <laughs> so I'm letting the fire burn. I pop a heal. I got a seat. I got the Parseval going after me with his AP bombers. He does a decent amount of damage. Massachusetts is slightly broadside. We get two pens, take out a gun turret, I can't show broadside against that Bismarck, I can't show broadside against this Massachusetts, uh, so I'm going to slow up a little bit here to hopefully throw off some aim, I get hit by the North Carolina, the Massachusetts is shooting uh, with the guns that he can, I get told that he get back by one of my Massachusetts, but my main strategy here is maybe if I can push up far enough forward, I can stop getting hit by the ships to the left, uh, but now the CV is now fully focused on me. But I'm sitting here, I'm like, well, if I speed up, I can avoid those. Three bounces off the back of the Massachusetts there. I got a secondary hit on him. 
the carrier takes out my steering. I'm still getting hit by the Massachusetts. I'm hoping that everybody can pick up where I'm slacking here. I'm going to slow up so that way I'm not spinning wildly, even though I'm only locked at a slight right turn, or left turn it looks like. But uh, even still, it would send me in a position I do not want to be. I fire at the North Carolina as he's my best target. I should be popping the heel here shortly. There's 12k, almost 13k on that salvo. Uh, rear turrets don't do as much. He slaps me for 10. The CV's coming in. This is eventually probably going to be my device here if this uh, Parsable can land those. We get another fire, this time on the North Carolina. I didn't use a priority sector here because uh, it wouldn't have mattered against these planes. Main thing here is I don't want to get killed by the planes. He does a decent amount of damage. I fire again at the North Carolina, uh, because I really didn't think I could get the shot against the mass. We get a Citadel, 23,000 damage. We kill the Massachusetts with fire damage. <laughs> so, that's what feels bad. That's our second kill. This is going really quick. This already three enemy ships down. Uh, we killed two immediately, and now, now one of their uh, battleships is down. They have the A cap. We firmly have the C cap. I'm being shot by the... Bismarck and the cruiser out there. So I'm going to return the favor on that cruiser. Or at least try to. I still have the secondaries focused on the North Carolina. When I come around this corner, they should start to open up. Uh, enemy torpedo planes coming in. I'm going to tr try my best to avoid them as much as possible. He's going to drop those. I'm going to have to take it. Uh, take both of them. Takes out my steering, sets me on fire again, and we get the North Carolina with secondaries. <laughs> so that's our second secondary kill of the game. And now it's, uh, firmly we have not lost a single ship. They are down to their CV, a battleship, and a cruiser. And I only have one heal left. Uh, that's a feels bad. But uh, I, th I felt like at this point I'd contributed my fair share to tanking. Most of the rest of the team is decently healthy, except for the other Massachusetts of two. Uh, the Amagi still got some decent health. Uh, both of our cruisers are still decent health, and our destroyer is what really matters in this situation. Uh, the CV, now I have a kind of a wall of teammates between me and the CV, so I feel more confident. Uh, I miss all of my shells against the cruisers, so I feel bad. I really sad about that one. Really wish I could have got that one there. That would have been nice. But to quickly go over where we are sitting currently, 22 plane skills, 244 secondary hits, 26 main battery hits, 3 kills, 123,000 damage, and we have potential of 1.4 million. And we also got some spotting in. They cap out B... I get one hit on the cruiser there. Uh, he's bringing in his dive bombers again, which I really, these are the things that bother me the most. Uh, I'm playing a dangerous game here by putting out that fire now, because I have no heals left. Uh, but thankfully he fired his next salvo while my uh, damage con was going, so thank you. The carrier misses with his dive bombers, which is also another thank you. Bismarck doesn't slap me. The fire chance didn't get me there. <laughs> we get two hits and one over pen on the uh, cruiser. He's not getting a fire, which is very nice right now. I put my secondaries on the Bismarck. CV's coming in with the torque planes again. I'm slowing, trying to get the guns on that cruiser. He's my priority here. The CV gets a decent spread because I'm going to probably take the one here. If I would have took two, that probably would have been a different story. Probably would have got the flood. So at this point, I'm, tr I'm just trying to get that cruiser. And I'm going to try to ram the Bismarck is my goal. That's that's my plan. Whether or not I can get to it is different because the Bismarck sets me on fire. Which is the problem that I was hoping not to have. So I keep shooting at that cruiser. The CV's coming in on a dive for me. We get a fire on the Bismarck, and there's my death. But the Bismarck is still on fire. 
So this game's not over for me. As I'm still constantly doing damage, I'm the only person on my team to die. But I'm still burning that Bismarck, slowly but surely. And the Samagi is also pushed up fairly aggressive with me. And he's gonna take a uh, chunk out of the Bismarck here. He's in a secondary duel with the Bismarck, but at this range, I, I you know, I don't count out the Amagi secondaries at this range. And I get the Bismarck with the fire. So that's a flush wound on top of that. One kill shy of a Kraken. If I would have got that Hindenburg, or the Admiral Hipper, that would have uh, changed that for me. So now the team's going to go after this cruiser next, and then eventually go get the CV. Of course, I s say in ch all chat from the grave, because I wasn't going to let that Bismarck just escape me like that. I was going to drag him down with me, whether it was through ramming or through something else, and it happened to be fire. Of course, having our Benson around to the end of the game really didn't seem to matter. I put in chat who I am the worst one on my team because I'm the only one to die. Because I didn't I didn't want to die in that situation. But of course I tell everyone on the team they did a decent job. Me and the Magi are the only ones contributing to the kills, but that's not to everyone else's uh pro not to everyone else's uh lack of trying. It just comes down to uh me being the uh aggressive person I was at the beginning of the match. So my game statistics are basically over, but the rest of the team here is going to, you know, attempt to go after this Parzival. The Parzival gets the Amalfi out, uh, and the Amagi is flooding, so he's slow. Uh, the team is, of course, doing friendly banter, saying there's no no reason to prolong this, but, uh, of course, he's, he's a CV player. He's going to prolong it. He's going to see if he can carry it. <laughs> But, of course, even players on his own team are saying that they uh, don't want him to prolong it. Because everybody here wants to just go on to the next game already. Uh, but really, it's chasing him to the end of the earth would probably be to his benefit. And to our demise here. As I wouldn't rule out that this Parsifal could take out the remainder of the team. But everyone's staying fairly grouped, so that's how that... Or that's how to you know, avoid the CVs and ranked in a situation like this. I know playing the clan battles here recently, they were 7v7, like clan brawls and then clan battles. It was tier uh, 8 and then tier 10 for the clan brawls, and now it's tier 9 for clan battles starting soon. And people in my clan were upset that there's no CVs allowed, and I was like, I, I don't know, I, I'm happy there's no CVs, because I don't want to have to face a good CV player in any ship. The CV is going to just dominate if it's in the hands of the right player. Whereas I feel confident against any actual surface ship. Because I've seen so many of these German CVs just nuke somebody out of the water, and it's like, oh, I don't really want that to happen to me. Of course, this Parzival is attacking the Amagi with uh, AP rockets, and that's not going to be very super effective against the Amagi. And he, the Amagi has the support of the Benson off to his right here, too, for AA. Now, those dive bombers, on the other hand, those could end the Amagi's day really easily if the Parcival wasn't remaining spotted for this whole time. Because he's spotted, this isn't very good for his health, because eventually the battleships will catch up to him and get him. But of course, the Parcival, instead of focusing down one target, he's going for our cruiser now, the Baltimore, which the Baltimore is on decent health. But uh, he could still kill that Baltimore too with the dive bombers. Then he's going to swing him around on the Massachusetts, it looks like. He goes unspotted here again, but he gets torped by our friendly CV. And all it takes is the Amagi to tap him out of existence right there. So, the post-battle results screen for that game. Uh, we got a... It's a flesh wound. Uh, two close quarters experts. High caliber and first blood. 158,783 damage off of 35 hits. 26 planes shot down. 4 kills. And 264 target hits with the secondaries. So that's a pretty amazing game. Um, we came top of the team. 2,289 base XP. Uh, we first person to die on the team. And one of the only two to die on the team. Our Amagi finished the second with three kills. Which, yeah, me and him got all of the kills. Sorry, guys. Sorry, the rest of the team. The detailed report, we did 55,826 at North Carolina. We 
really did a lot to those two first battleships. About 17,000 to the Bismarck, 12,000 to the Z-23, which isn't bad for the destroyer that doesn't have that much health to begin with, and 20,000 to the other cruiser. The We didn't get to shoot at the uh, CV this game, but we did damage him with uh, 26 point kills. Out of the 158,000 damage that we did, only 77,000 came from the main batteries. 36,000 came from the secondary batteries, but almost 45,000 damage came from fires. So, two, almost 2 million potential damage. Again, I'm always so close to that 2 million potential, it seems like, in a lot of these games. 24,000 spotting damage, and we took 103,000 damage before we unfortunately sunk. And finally, the Massachusetts, of course, taking it into rank, is a good credit maker. And we got 1.3 million credits profit. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If so, rate me much pretty appreciate it. I'll catch you guys most definitely on the next one. Peace out. Shut up and sit down.